uh, let me uh, contextualize our polling assignment. So now we're starting to pivot into a multi-week thing. So most of our modules are this week, right? This module this week, do this reading, we're doing this, right? We do have these overarching modules though that go for a long period of time. So I'll, I'll turn that one on now that you guys have, now that you guys have seen the poll, um, I'll turn that one on. And so, so that will be a module that is multiple weeks, for example. So let me give you just some initial, you guys see this okay? Let me turn on this light. So uh, this is what we're gonna be doing. More, deta more details, the specific details next week, but I just wanted to make sure you guys have the context. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, uh, a collect, you know, surveying the random public attitude, right? The, the, the random public experiences, attitudes, et cetera, across LA, Ventura, Santa Barbara counties, right? Mostly we'll focus on Ventura County, just that's where we are, but, but that, that's our range, right? So you could do these guys uh, anywhere. Uh, before we lock it in, though, you guys, I want you guys to take this poll, and we'll discuss that in, in a second. But this is what we're essentially going to do. We're going to go in and, uh, and where's my? And you guys are going to enter, uh, you know, this. So we're going to we're going to individually collect polls, and then we're going to pull all the data together, just like we've done so far in our previous labs. And each of these rows, when I eventually give you the data sheet to type in, will reflect one of the uh, one person's poll or one person's responses in a poll. And so, what essentially we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, here's this question, and this year that would happen to be question number sixteen. The questions sort of shift around a bit, right? But so this year, this was question number 16. And did the people answer it? Sometimes people skip a question. Either they're confused or they, you know, for whatever reason. So one is, so wherever there's a check mark, we just put a number one. So that's the deal. Uh, it makes it easier to do the analysis. Okay, so this is, yes, somebody answered it. And then the options were they could say yes, they could say no, or they could say ensure it. This person said no. And so that's what we do, right? We're just going to fill it off across going off to the right. Uh, and then what that allows us to do is, uh, uh, so, so this is, this is data from several years, but we'll just look at this one example. So what it allows us to do is to add all these up, look at the total number of people that responded and then get the proportion. So this year, 24% of the people thought we were doing a good job managing the coast. 35% of the uh, public thought we were not doing a good job of managing the coast. And about 40% didn't know, right? Unsure, unsure, didn't know, didn't want to make a vote, right? And so that's essentially what we're going to do. So we're going to pull all this stuff together. And then you guys, the, the second half of this assignment is you guys will, will synthesize, right? Work, work and... And, and then this is some of the data, or this is the data that we'll present at WSN later in November. And, and that, we, we just had a meeting on Friday, the, the, the logistics of that will be coming up on board um, this week. So I'll be able to tell you guys a little bit more with the schedules and stuff next week. So that's the deal. That's the context, right? The instrument that we have is this thing that you guys just played with. Um, so, this one here, it's our poll. So uh, we have a couple questions here that are just open-ended, like type in a word, a word association, speaking to the idea of the coastal imaginary. When people say California and they say the coast, what, are they, what pops in their head, right? Um, and then we have some uh, various, various questions. So some of the questions are a mix. Some of the questions are, what have you done? How much seafood have you eaten? Uh, did you eat more of this? Did you use less of that? Right. So a behavioral question. Others are just, what do you think about this? Have you heard of this? Think it's a good idea, etc. Cool. <coughs> so um, let me first ask, uh, uh, what you guys, what you guys think of this? Were, were, there, were there questions that were super confusing or like you had no idea? Of course. Sorry, which, which, like on the first page? 
geometers for like the uh, opposite the three leaf class of polynomials. I think so, like the two leaf class. I just didn't understand why. Oh, totally. So, so uh, some of these are things that that in previous years students wanted to look at. In this case, this is this is a, a, a poll we were asked to participate in with some folks from Europe. So they actually had a whole like a ten page poll, and this was one of their questions. So I cut out about you're going to be shocked. I cut out about two thirds of the options here. <laughs> so they were asking about nuts and how much milk you drank and all kinds of stuff, right? And that, that particular question, they were that really came out in the middle of the pandemic, and they were interested how people's food consumption was changing. Um, so, so some of these questions we've created, or, or your, your fellow students have created. Others are um, worded that way because we're trying to replicate survey questions people did in another survey. And um, one of the things, doing this type of research, right, it's important how, how we phrase stuff, right? So the classic one would be um, people that have a political agenda or want to sell you stuff, they'll do what they, we call a push poll. So they say something like, um, what would an example be like? Um, uh, do you think the government should spend even just a little bit of money to help the people that are totally screwed and being hurt in this economy? You know, like those kind of questions. You're like, wait, what? So, so one, we want to make sure that we're not introducing um, too much, you know, you know, bias in, well, there's, there's bias in everything, but we're not, we're not, biasing towards one type of answer versus another or encouraging people to say yes or encouraging people to say no. And so mo much of the wording of these, of more of the g generic things like climate change and things like that come from other national polls so we could actually look and see how, how well we, uh, you know, how this tracks. I think like maybe the one you were referring to was M like Oh yeah, word. Uh, so, yeah, so this is, this is stuff that we've been asking. So most of these questions we've been asking for about 12 years, 14 years or so. So we're talking, you guys, we're talking about, talking about this one. Uh, so, I, I mean, sure, we, we, we can, we can add, do you think, uh, um, what, what, what happens here is in this case, we're, So we'll, use, we all, we'll also use the results of this poll throughout the semester, right? So you guys will use them. Test questions, thinking about assignments, stuff. So we've not talked about seafood yet, so it's a little hard to right, ask you guys about seafood. But the short version is um, people seem to either not care about seafood. It's like, whatever, seafood. What is that, fish? Or they have these um, oftentimes fairly... Um, ingrained senses of clean and what is clean and what is not. So um, the Alaska Marketing Board is a really, really powerful marketing entity. And I mean, and they do a relatively good job of managing their, their seafood sustainably. But it's a huge marketing campaign to make when people say Alaska, people think, ooh, brisky, brisky wind and, and, and manly men pulling in nets out of the raw sea, right? That kind of stuff. Right. These other things, Gulf of Mexico in the wake of the Deepwater Horizon, uh, Japan in the wake of Fukushima, um, uh, Orange County. This is this is this is uh, we asked last year, but but um, but Orange County here is uh, is is a relatively new one. Right. Um, and, the, and the idea is when there's a what seems to happen is when there's a threat. Well, well, we'll we'll see if this holds out for when you guys look at the data. But historically, the pattern seem, is this: when there's a thr not thinking about it, yeah, that's that, that place is fine. That place is fine. That place is fine. Fukushima happens. Don't buy anything from Japan, even if the vast, 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 vast majority of seafood from Japan is totally fine, right? But there's this associate. Same with Deepwater Horizon. Like, oh my God, everything's covered in oil, right? And so it takes a long time off. The, the, the more intense the disturbance, it takes a long time for the public trust to come back about that. And so this is more like looking at longitudinally how these things change. We haven't had an oil spill in Thailand or anything like that. But 
who knows, you know, five years now there's going to be an oil spill. And so we'll, we'll see that. So, a lot of like media. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, I don't know if I answered the question, yeah, but, 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 okay, cool. Other things you guys are wondering about or other things you were thinking about or maybe thinking we could tweak or change or. Um, uh, the, the, I'll just say the ones that we've added in this year or, or we added in like last year. Um, but, but I would say like, because of, because it's happened after, well, last year was sort of in the process of happening. So the new ones this year would be the number 18. See if people change their, we asked last year, so it'll be interesting to see if things go back to normal. Um... Uh, number 19, we've asked in years past, but we added a couple new ones here, Deep Sea and Mountain Peaks. Um, uh, the plastic pollution is a social justice issue. Timmy asked us to ask that one, so that's a new one this year. Um, 21, that just happened, right? That just happened last week. So um, again, we haven't talked about energy yet, so this is sort of getting stuff that we'll cover in subsequent weeks. But short version is Diablo Canyon is our only currently operated nuclear power plant. For several years, we asked questions about SONGS, the San Onofre nuclear generating station. That was a huge controversy. We can talk about that later. Um, and, but that, plant, that nuclear power plant is shut down. The, radi the radi radioactive waste is still sitting there right next to the freeway, right between the freeway and the beach, almost on the beach. Um, and we'll be there for probably decades, but, um, but that, that entity no longer generates power in the coastal zone. Then we're down to just Diablo Canyon. Diablo Canyon is run by Pacific Gas and Electric, our Northern California utility. That entity, um, uh, basically, uh, uh, about six years ago, six years, yeah, about six years ago, they're in the process of re-permitting to extend their the operating life of the nuclear power plant and they just literally went in one day and said nope we're done the the, the utility said that right and it was shocking it was so, so like the enviros and people that were trying to close it down and everything they're like wait what and they're like, they're like yeah we're done we're walking away and so the decision was 2025 it would be turned off now with all the war in russia and all the and all the problems and everything, um, our, our sustainable energy sources aren't re quite ready yet for prime time in terms of days like, you know, hot today, hot late summer um, days. And so the governor started a few months ago and the bill was just signed, he, or will pass last week, he just signed it, that will extend the life for at least a decade past 2025. So first, first, the power company wanted to run it for a long time, and they said, nope, we're going to end it in 2025. And now the government's saying, actually, we want you to keep running it, right? So that's generating about 9% of California's electricity from that one plant. So losing it would be a particular challenge until we get more battery storage and stuff online. How close is it to the We'll go, we'll see it when we go on our trip. It's, it's um, if I took a rock and was in the water and threw it, I would hit the fence line. I mean, I mean, it's sucking up water from the ocean. It's, it's, it's in San Luis Obispo County. It's on in Avila Bay, Avila Bay, or, or like the, 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 the promontory just, just north of Avila Bay. So, so, okay. So anyway, so, so that's a new question. We had not asked that question this year because up until this year it was shutting down. So that's a new question. Um, and then the other new, and then another new question, the other, I think the only other new one is that 22 right there. It said the decision that all new vehicles, this also just passed uh, last week, or like, well, not last week, but like 10 days ago with the, the Clean Air 2 rule from CARB. And it says the decision that all new vehicles sold in California after 2035 will be electric vehicles. Right? I mean, I mean there's other parts of that. They're going to start phasing things in. But, but the big thing is, you know, 12 years or 13 years, whatever it is from now, if you buy a new car, theoretically you buy a used car, but if you buy a new car, there's no internal combustion going on there. Cool? Okay. Um, so yeah.
Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the date, the drought, 27 was a question we asked in years past, but we sort of took it out. We put it back, but since the drought's going on right now, we put that back in. Um, but these other things, things like current laws protecting endangered species, California's adequately managing our coast. We've asked those questions every single year for, you know, whatever it is, 14 years, 15 years. Okay. Uh, uh, anybody notice any, like, formatting problems or anything that doesn't look, like, aesthetically pleasing? That's the hard one on this, because every time we change something, I have to go back and rechange everything. So sometimes things get... Hello, there. Okay. Have a seat. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So that's... So that is... Uh, so cool. Um, I would say one of the most... Okay. Oh, I'd say uh, one other one is number 30, which is how safe do you feel in open spaces? That was one... As I said, we, we share this data with our, um, you know partners and, and public agencies and stuff, people ask us for this data, right? And this one was, uh, this one really came up in, uh, starting in 2016. So this, this I think maybe looks like, 30 maybe looks like a pandemic question to you guys, right? Like, do you feel safe? Mm -hmm. But really this was um, in the wake of the, the um, uh, 2016 presidential election, Gesundheit, Gesundheit. And, and some of the uh, agencies I work with, um, uh, protected area agencies, started noticing that people really started avoiding rangers. This is in urban parks. This is in like Santa Monica, sort of like ex-urban parks and in more traditional parks. And there really seemed to be an increasing sense of um, fear among certain parts of our community. And so we started asking these questions and it was, and it was, Concerning. So the reason why these dates are here in this question. So 2000 is a long time ago. <laughs> it's a long time ago slash before 9-11 and all that terrorism and all that kind of stuff, right? At least in the big popular conscience, consciousness. 2015 was before that presidential election cycle that really seemed to um, um, uh, particularly target the other and particularly target our immigrant communities that really felt the brunt of this not feeling safe. And again, our protected areas are open spaces for everybody, right? Everybody can go to them. Everybody should be able to relax and breathe and de-stress and run or fish or whatever the heck they want to do, right? And then 22 is just right now. And so this is one that we, we sort of add, add a little bit of data over the years. And this is one that changed a lot. So, so speaking of how we rephrased it, we had it one way and then it took us a while to sort of settle into the, the right question format. But that's that one. And then another one that's not technically new, but number 31. Oh, sorry. Oh, I had any questions. So, so, then, so then I should be switching this. I should be switching this. So we're just we're talking about that guy. And then th this one here, this last one here um, is, uh, it's not new, but we only asked this once. And this was during the pandemic. And so the idea here is, and so, so these, these look sort of intimidating. You're like, oh my God, Dr. A, this is too long. Can we like, can we chop this down, right? And we should, right? And when you look, when you have, actually see the eventual data set, you'll think, oh, it's still too long. But, but uh, this is like a small fraction of the total questions we've asked over the years. Um, but the idea here is what we do with these things, with this, with this scale, and, it, and this is like easy to hard, but sometimes it's like supportive to unsupport, whatever it is, right? What we'll do administratively is turn this into a numeric scale. So for example, uh, not easy or hard, maybe that gets a zero. And then uh, very easy, maybe gets a, a two. And easy gets a one. And somewhat hard gets like a minus one. And very hard gets a minus two, right? And then we can turn these, these tick box into numerical responses, and then we can start to average those. And we can start to look at on average, you know, so some people say this is the hardest thing in the world, some people say it's the easiest thing in the world, right? But when we start to average these large population numbers, we'll actually start to get a sense from, from our local community, what do we think, you know, how does microplastic pollution deal with, or, 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 or stack up to political polarization, right? Or aging electrical grid, or institutionalized racism, right? So some of these things are super effing hard, right? I mean, some of these things are like, oh my God, how are we gonna solve this? So it's useful to talk about our management things 
and some of our, our, our key, or, or not key, but some of our obviously coastal management related things, um, microplastic pollution, sea level rise, seafood supply, right, those things, it's very helpful for us as people interested in the management of these resources to have a relative measure, right? Is this like 1% as hard as, I don't know, uh, nuclear proliferation? Or is it like half as hard, right? And so, and so understand that is really helpful when you go into meetings about these things, right? When you, one, a lot of these issues play upon other, you know, the, 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 there's this feedback loop and there's this big soup of all this stuff mixing together. So we, we want to understand that. But also, you know, if what we're talking about is perceived by the public as who cares, right, or very, very minimal, you need to know that if you're working on that issue because you're going to have a harder time engaging the public in a discussion of what management options we should do. Or if it turns out that, um, yes, these other things are, are, are considered harder, but this is on the order of magnitude of about as hard as this thing is, that also gives, gives us some clues as to how we might approach the management style or, or the management option. Cool? Okay. So, uh, uh, any other, any other uh, things you guys notice? Any other formatting or? Okay. So, um, so great. So, so that's that. So what you guys should be doing now, if you, if you do find something, you know, send me a note, let me know. Because we're going to, oh, okay. Let me, um, so we haven't gone over the logistics yet. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it next week because I have to get, get these printed for you guys. The first few. The first, we'll do the first couple and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll have a chat. Um, but uh, just note, it says today's date. And so whenever you do do these, you're going to write whatever the date is. You're also going to want to write the time and the location. But when we put that on there, it looks a little creepy. People kind of like think that we're stalking them or something, right? So, so, so if, I, if I gave this to you guys and you took it, I'd say, thanks a lot. You know, i put it over here. And then when you took off, I would just sort of write on here, uh, it's whatever time it is right now and the location, right? Um, so uh, we're not identifying the people, but we want to identify where we, where we collected them. Um, and more about uh, the, the approaches to, to get these done uh, next week. Make sure everybody has their human subjects uh, thing done by Friday, because that's for that online training. And again, um, when you get to the end, uh, uh, you just take a screenshot or hit print one or the other, just so we have a document. And you upload that to our, the assignment, quote unquote, is just to simply upload your, your, your um, certificate. Uh, and it should work fine. Every once in a while, there's a burp. If you're going to do the registration, there's, there, there's a couple options, but I, I send you to the default one. Um, but you can do either one. Uh, every once in a while, there's a hiccup because we're using um, other university servers to, do the, to host the training. And sometimes you go to register and it doesn't, let you, it doesn't let you into the system. If that happens, just take off, go hit the bathroom, go get a drink of water, whatever, come back in like 10, 15 minutes and try again. It usually works. Um, sometimes there's We've had issues with I think it's the University of Florida, whoever it is, 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 is compliant. Cool. Okay. So hold on to these. Hold on to these, and um, and uh, I'll, we'll we'll have you guys practice entering data um, with this next week. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, great question. So this year we're. We didn't ask that. Um, uh, I don't have all the questions translated in Spanish this year. So uh, in the past, we've tried. Um, in the past, we have done that. Since 2016, quite frankly, it doesn't really seem to work very well. So um, a lot of our Spanish-speaking friends and neighbors have become super averse to taking polls. And even when you know you guys are from the neighborhood and you're walking around your neighborhood and asking people, it's just gotten much, much harder. So much so that after like 2018, we just, it, 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 uh, it, for the purpose of, you know, a couple weeks assignment here, it's, it's, it's too much work. So, um, but in the past we have, so it's a great question. Uh, and I would say, uh, when, and that's also a great capstone project. When we have students do, do that in the past, totally different answer. When we ask the same questions in the same community, but just ask it in English versus 
Starbucks, uh, Ventura, you know, City of Ventura kind of thing. So you don't need to like write people's exact address down, but just you know, Wyoming Beach or something, something like that. Um, are we printing these up as well? No, no, I'll print them up for you. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's why I needed to make sure everybody looks at this over before I start printing them, so we so that they're so that uh, I don't print a bunch of messed up ones. So we're gonna get them on Monday. Yeah. Uh, I should also say. Um, when we turn that module on, it'll all, this PDF will also be up there. So if you guys were stuck somewhere and you ran out, you could print them yourself. I, I don't have to print them, but but it's designed that I print them for you guys. But if you got stuck, you could always print your own. Is there a certain amount that you want to print? Yes, we'll cover next week. So the, we're going to start with five. So, the, so on Monday, we can do five. I'm going to try to go out and do three or four before Wednesday, and then we'll, then we'll talk about them in brief on Wednesday. And then like when, when you have the annual like meeting, like when you guys are going to get on it? Yes. Like, I want to like- Yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally, I love the fact you guys want to get on it, and that's awesome, but let's do it this step. So having done this over several years, it's best for you guys to go try it first, and then and then after when, next Wednesday, I'll turn on the data entry thing. And then, you, then you guys can enter them as soon as you want. But it, it causes more problems than it solves when we try to go too fast sometimes. Some people will be fine, but other people will be fine just completely. Does it have to be like the same thing beforehand? Yeah, yeah, so so we'll talk about that on Monday, but but the short version is um, mostly, uh, okay, so, so the goal here, when we go to do this, the goal is to get random folks, right, cross-section of the population. First thing to say is that our our permit our, to do this, we only do adults. So something has to be 18 and older. Now, so every once in a while, you're doing something and somebody fills it out and we post it a day on top. That person is 15, right? So that, but, 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 you know, they're, they're an old 16, right? So, um, but, but we're not targeting kids or anything like that. So that's the first thing, that we're only doing adults and that has to do with, you guys do the training, if you haven't done it yet, that has to do with consent. Someone has the ability to say, "Yep, I want to do this, and that's okay with me." Uh, and then, and then the other thing uh, is, you're not allowed to do it on campus. So we're not surveying CSUs yet. We're surveying, you know, everybody else, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. Um, we have some rules about you going to like, you know, a certain number of different locations, but that's basically it. You do not want to do all your friends and neighbors and everybody. And, and you know, do it, surveying your your mom or whatever, or surveying your neighbor, uh, that would I guess be okay. But we're trying to get a cross section. And so your friends, your neighbors, your family members are more like more likely to be like you than some random person, right? So they're more likely to share your thing. And you guys have all selected to be an ESRM major. So you have, you know, we as a group, just as a group, we tend to think a bit more similarly to each other than maybe some of the random. Public, so that's a deal. So you know, if you had like one more to do, and your friend walked over, oh, you can give it to it. Right, that's not the end of the world. But we want to, we want to cast a wide net. And so that's the main driver. And and so we're not trying to go to people we you know, are friends with. We're not trying to go to on campus. We're trying to go to public places and, and encounter random people. More on that on Monday. 